This program shows how you can use Java Morph to morph one picture into another picture. All of the files from Java Morph are saved on a directory Java Morph. As you can see, it's not located. So we have to start the program. And what happens when you start the program, if you don't have the file, the directory, it'll automatically make the directory for you. As you can see, the directory comes with a sample of uh, two faces, which can be morphed together. But I don't want to use those faces. I'm going to put my own faces in there. Uh, so to do it, you go to the, to change it, you have to go to the file, uh, input file in the Java Morph uh, directory. And uh, you have to change the two faces. As a demonstration, I'm going to use two different images. Um, one's a PNG and the other one's a JPEG. And uh, they have different aspect ratios. And this just gives you a, an idea of how powerful this program is. So we have to delete these other two images that they have and we have to label the images that we're using left and right. The morphing starts with the image named left and ends with the image named right. Now that we've got the two images, you'll notice that in the program that's running on the upper left hand corner of the screen has not changed. So in order to load these images, we have to stop the program and then uh, restart it again. Now that we've started the program, you can see that the two images... So after maximizing the images, we have to set the polygons. And to do that, you have to right-click on the screen and click on Edit Polygons. Now what you can do is you can grab the corners and you can move the polygon anywhere that you want to morph. Uh, in this case, we want to morph the entire picture on the left into the entire picture on the right. So I'm dragging the corners to the corner of the images. The other, next thing we're going to have to do is get rid of that grid of dots. We can do it just by deleting it or remaking it. To do that, right click on it and you can edit the mesh. You can um, delete the mesh. But there's a lot of points there, and it's going to take a lot of work to drag each and every one of those points from the part of the left drawing to the part of the right drawing that we want. So what I'm going to do is change that by right-clicking and going to the configuration menu, and I'm changing it to a 7x7 grid of points, so we don't have as many points to work with. This is just a demo video. If you have more points, you can have a smoother transition. So what you do is you grab a point, and when you do, the corresponding point on the other picture will highlight and you uh, drag it to keep places and this will make a smooth transition for example the left eye and the left picture to the left eye the right the right eye and the right eye the tip of the ears and uh, after you drag all of the points to where you want them then we're ready to morph again right click and then uh, click on morph an upper left hand side of the screen you'll see that there's a little window it shows the progress of the morphing. This was set for five morphing steps and this always generates one more image than the number of steps. So in this case there are six images and we're going to look at debug. It saves a couple files in debugs and it hasn't saved the files we want yet so let's just go over to the output and you can see there are six images. It's one more than the five morphing steps that we had. Uh, let's go back to debug. And there's the files. If you click on the left triangles, uh, you can see that they're fairly uniform. There's a couple that are, have bad aspect ratios. They probably could be cleaned up a little bit better. If you look at the right one, uh, the mesh looks a lot better. Nice uniform elements. That gives you just a kind of an indication of 
of what needs to be changed. So now that you've got these six images, you can make a GIF out of them, but I don't want to do that. I want to make a video. And uh, let's say for a video, what lasts 10 seconds and it's played back at 30 frames a second, we need 300 images. So I'm going to right click, go back to the config menu, and change it to 300 images and start the morphing. Morphing can take a long time if these are large images and you've got a lot of elements and you've got a slow computer. These are just 300 individual pictures. I have to turn into a movie and to do that I need another program. I'm going to use a video editor called OpenShot. Um, to uh, import it, go to File, Import uh, Images. Then you have to navigate to uh, the output file of Java Morph folder. And when you do, you'll have a list of all the images. All you have to do is click on the first image. Then it's going to ask you if you want to bring it in as a sequence of images or a single image. Press Sequence. Now we can uh, look at uh, the results. And from this, you can save it into one of several different video formats. And when you get done, the final project looks like this. And notice it not only morphs the images, but it also morphs the colors.